I want, I brought you back for a couple of reasons. I want to do more dancing. Okay. But I want to talk about, because when you, the last time you were here, we did not get to talk about making the band. We did it. You're right. We were having so much fun. We you were, were like, oh, and by the way, I'm doing making the band. And I yeah. was like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. So let, I want to go back to okay. the original making the band. First. Well, thank you for having me back, by the way, because you are so incredible. Thank you, Lorraine. And it's so magical watching you do what you do. It's effortless, it's brilliant, and I just really want to tell you how awesome you are. You're so amazing. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. I accept it. She's the star maker. She knows what she's talking about. That part. <laughs> um, do you feel like making the band was a success in its first run? <laughs> In the first run, I didn't know what it was. I was very traumatized. I remember asking Puffy if he would do a testimony on a dance DVD that I was doing. And he said, sure, but you have to do me a favor. And I was like, For he said, first. And I was like, okay, what is that? He's like, I want you to do this thing for me. It's making a band, just go down to the studio and I, I, I wanna make a girl group. And it was like, I had no idea. And so he knew that once I got into what I love to do so much that it was going to be this big explosion. Mm. That's what makes him such a good star maker. Right. Um, but I was young, and I was very passionate about making a number one band. That's all I knew. But it also traumatized me because I knew nothing about reality TV. Right. No one gave me a handbook. Mm -hmm. No one even told me what it entailed. You know, so... I didn't know. I had no idea. But I knew that I wanted to make a number one group, and I knew that my talent was definitely sufficient enough. One of the moments, well, that's, that's real. One of the moments that I remember about making the band was when Puffy, two moments, I guess, Puffy made them walk across the, the bridge. bridge. Mm -hmm. Um, do y'all laugh? Y'all remember that moment? He made, he made them walk across the bridge. What do you think, it seemed like, much like sorority fraternity hazing to me. Was he hazing them? Is it like, what does walking across the bridge to get a piece of pie and coming back, what does that do to help it, make a band? It establishes how hungry you are, literally oh. and figuratively. Okay. But honestly, when you're in the moment, when we were in the moment, and you face like the defiant nature of a young entitled person who has the opportunity to follow their dream, and you can't really break them in order to make them, you try to do anything you can because the goal is to produce talent that will be able to sustain. So in that moment, when you're reaching, you're like, you know what? Go get me cheesecake. You know, and it was just so authentic and so uh -huh. real. It wasn't something that was pre-produced. Right. It was like, you know, Puff, I want cheesecake. And so it turned into this big thing. But um, the idea that we're rebooting it, uh -huh. when he first came to me and he was like, we're going to do Making the Band again, I was like, you're joking, right? And that's why I ask if the first one was successful. I obviously remember Day 26, yeah. which was a huge group for a very small time. So do you believe that this is, um, that, that making the band two will spawn a group that could perhaps soar? Because they had a lot of internal <laughs> is that issues. Shady bomb. Is no, that no, 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 shady no. Bomb on I, I, no, 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 no. I love that. No. <laughs> they had a lot of in the group them the the group members had a lot of internal issues mm -hmm. and things that they needed to maybe get over for it that, to happen. No, a hundred percent. And I think the thing that people don't realize is that. You know, a lot of artists have internal battles, right? The thing is, these kids never grew up together. They were picked to be together. So myself and Puff and writers and producers, we're like always being the sixth member or the fourth member to create and gel um, in a short period of time what takes years to really generate right. between people. I think what happens is um, we did a great job. I mean, day 26. Them boys could sing. Yes, they could. They were stars. And they were hungry. They were hungry. Yeah. And what happens, that ego, the deception, mm. the perception that you've made it, therefore you must make these 
irrational choices where yeah. you're the only most talented person on the face of this earth, suddenly that hunger becomes, you know, disrespectful and and you suddenly think you know all that you need to know and then you start making bad choices. And that's out of our control. But it is not that we didn't make an incredible group. I mean, day 26, they're still fantastic. It's just sad that sometimes you can't catch them when they're about to make that decision that will implode themselves. So what will be different, <laughs> right? What will be different about this, make, this, this new installment of Making the Band? Tammy Mac, I can't tell you everything. But you can tell me something, king, girl. Honey, <laughs> woo! Like we're in pre-production now, and it, if you believe that you are that star and you're like at home curls up right now, I'm telling you, this is not a game. This is a new narrative. You know, we want to build sustainable artists. We want to take the magic and bring it back to what music is really supposed to do. Entertain, inspire, take me higher. So um, we're looking for those kids that have been gifted. Yes. And are looking for the opportunity. The thing I love the most about mm -hmm. making the band was that the people that you picked they were all extremely talented. 100%. So it wasn't about their story, it wasn't about their looks, right. it wasn't about these external, Gimmicks. superficial things. Yeah. It was literally about their talent. You're 100% right. And that, the bar has now been raised. Mm -hmm. Because where we are in the music industry, with Instagram and the Insta fame, or the look like an artist, yeah. right? For a very short amount of time, we have to now go and take advantage of how much access we have and change the narrative teach them, reteach them how to understand what good music is, what a real talent is, what a real show is. Not just walking back and forth on stage, not just like afraid to be on stage. There's a process of development that will secure an artist from going through those mental breakdowns and not being emotionally prepared to deliver their music live. Right. So I have to ask, because you bring mm -hmm. in social media, will it matter what they are you looking for Instagram influencers? Will you be um, using people who have lots of followers on Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and all of that? Well, how will that be incorporated into the show? Well, for me, Mother Boom Cat, because there will be some <laughs> other kids, I, I don't care about a title. I don't care about the why. I'm not going to buy into, I'm not a follower. I'm not going to buy into what you're trying to sell me. Mm -hmm. I want talent. I want to be able to find that person that believes in something that hasn't manifested yet, that they're holding on to with faith. I want them to sing and dance with the purest part of their gift. Mm. So for me, and I think what I'm known for, is it's going to be a bumpy ride because right now we have to be better than the mediocrity that's yeah. out there. Yeah. And um, I'm excited about what that's gonna look like, what it's gonna sound like, and what that process is. What do you think mediocrity looks like today? Oh, I could give you a whole <laughs> list, honey, bunches of votes. But I'm not going to do that on the TV show. <laughs> you know who you are. And everybody knows that. Right, but we're not going to do that because, you know, always with love you inspire. So we're just going to create an option mm -hmm. so that you will understand very quickly what is mediocre and what is great. Mm, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it. And how ready are you for this, Laurieann? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would keep it 100. I'm just gagging, actually. I'm like going through like post traumatic syndrome because I'm like, I can't believe the show that almost, you know, challenged me because after I had that big fight with Puff, it was like everybody turned their backs on me. I had to go through a big, you know, uh, readjustment. People thought I was crazy and I was passionate. And I mean, you know, it's not easy building superstars, that takes a different type of muscle. So now that we're coming back and they're like, yay, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but what I love about you is that, and what I learned about you, mm -hmm. is that you literally, you believe in natural raw talent, yes. and all of the other stuff around it can really just kiss your ass, mm -hmm. and that's why you walked away from the first making the band. Yeah, from, yeah I think it was the first one. Yeah. Um, making the band, and so I... I respect that about you. The fact that you have enough belief in yourself. Yes, ma'am. That you don't have to deal with something that you feel like is 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 not honoring your gift from God. No, you, amen. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, David. 
<laughs> Which is so important because I think yeah. people just want to believe in the hype and obviously that's just going to go away. But the integrity, you know, the integrity when no one's looking is what has built my character. And um, I want to inspire that because I think like what people need to understand is that no matter what other people are doing, there's still destiny for you. Yeah. There's still an unpaved road that's designed mm. for you. Mm. You know, no matter how many people are out there doing it a million different ways and the perception of success, there's still an untraveled road that belongs to you. And those are like the people I want to help believe in their own road, not someone else's version of themselves, but you. I want you to sing that note. I want you to dance that step as better than anyone who's supposedly yes. supposed to be great. Yes. yes. So when can we expect making the band? Well, we are... Can you, wait, before you tell me that, mm -hmm. can you tell me any other celebrities that are going to be on the Ooh, show? Ooh, the list is fierce. But at the same token, it's not a celebrity-driven mindset. Obviously, I can't give away anymore because we're literally doing all oh, of that. Oh, I but thought again, I was going to get Makingtheband.com, casting, we're open, we're going to five cities, um, so stay tuned. Do you That's know the cities yet? Can you say the cities? I can. I know that the first city is Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Um, it's people who really do this. You know, it's very difficult when a lot of people put a celebrity in front of talent and sometimes that celebrity isn't in a place to pull out something from someone else or mm -hmm. doesn't know how to see raw talent. It's very, you have to really do this. You have to really develop talent cover it. And they don't do that anymore, Lori Ann. I know. It doesn't exist. But it's what it takes, you know? Yeah. To to follow in the footsteps of our history, of our Whitney's, of our Michaels, of our princes, yeah. of our Shaka Khan's, of our Janet's, of our Puff Daddies, of our Alicia Keys, of our Boom Cacks. There of is. our Tammy <laughs> Max, you know what I mean? We are great. Mm. We have a standard. So it's very important that especially brown and black and island and people of culture, we have to embrace the bigness and the power of yes. what we do Ooh. instead of suppressing it so it's digestible. Yes! Mm. Your favorite memory from making the band? I took you back. I took you too far back. No, my favorite memory, I don't think I have a favorite <laughs> no. memory. <laughs> I don't. I think I'll have one from this time. Yeah. From the reboot, yeah. Okay. I was traumatized. And, and for, look, you told me already, <laughs> but just, you were really traumatized. I was. Like, it was, I didn't, it was, I can't even, I don't even know why you're going back. That, that, well, well, there's a good thing behind that. Also because I'm a producer and my brother really is awesome. Um, at supporting uh, the growth and where I am as a visionary and so when you say your brother, you mean Puffy? Yes. Okay. Right. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Just forgot that guy. <laughs> but it's really great. So, um, uh, you know, to go back, not only obviously as the creative director, choreographer, and I'll have a massive amount of teams and dance. It's going to be so super packed with amazingness. But I'm also a producer. Yeah. Okay. That, that, okay. That's a reason to go back for yeah, sure. Exactly. Yes. So we're going to take a break because I cannot have Lori Ann here and not get our dance on. It's Friday Night Dance Party, baby, with Lori Ann. 